Hi there. Here we have weights of 15 students of a class organized in the form of a discontinuous frequency distribution table. This class has two new students, Sonia and Rahul. They weigh 35.5 kilograms and 40.5 kilograms respectively. We need to include their weights in this table now. The question is, in which rows? We can see that 35.5 and 40.5 don't fall in any of the class intervals. That's because there are gaps in consecutive intervals. Look at the first two class intervals for example. Any number between 35 and 36 wouldn't belong to either of these classes. So to include them, we will have to modify the intervals in a way that the upper limit of one class is the same as the lower limit of the next class. In other words, we need to convert the discontinuous frequency distribution table to a continuous one. But how do we do that? Let's look at the class intervals here. The upper limit of the first interval is 35 and the lower limit of the next interval is 36. First of all, we take the difference which is 1. It doesn't matter which interval we choose, the difference will remain the same. Then we take half of the difference and add it to each of the upper limits while subtracting it from each of the lower limits. Here half of the difference is 0.5. On doing so, we get these class intervals. And this is how we convert a discontinuous frequency distribution table to a continuous frequency distribution. Oh look, the table includes 35.5 and 40.5 as well in the intervals. Now we can include the weights of Sonia and Rahul. Remember that when the number coincides with the limits of two class intervals, we choose the interval in which the number is the lower class limit. That way, 35.5 goes in the second row and 40.5 goes in the third row. Now that we have included the weights of Rahul and Sonia, the table represents the entire class. This makes the new students happy as they feel included. While the class gets to know more about these two students, it's time for you to help more such classes in converting their frequency distribution tables. See you next time.